Broadchurch has returned. The murder mystery drama that's a hit around the world is back on our screens, and once again, the backdrop is provided courtesy of the West Country. It's written by Chris Chibnall, who lives in Bridport, a pebble's throw from the show's centrepiece of West Bay. So, I mean, an amazing response to last night's first episode. Um, how do you feel? Uh, I think relieved that it's all out there now. Actually, we've been keeping secrets for so long, so many different secrets. I'm just pleased to see it go on air and, and be out there. And now people can just talk and I can just hide. You know? <laughs> when you penned the first series, was the second series always in your mind? Yes, it was. It was, there was, uh, I'd had it before, while I was writing the first one, I had the idea about how the story might continue and grow, really. And um, so I, I talked to ITV about that at a very early stage. And then when the first series was successful, that was the point we went, well, we could actually do that. So, so yeah, it was always there embedded. And there's lots of stuff in the first series that will come back and that will be important. And it has made an enormous difference to this part of the West Country, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Uh, I mean, I think hopefully what it's been is a great shop window for the West Country and for Dorset and for uh, West Bay and also Clevedon, where obviously the houses and the church are. Uh, so I've been very proud because I love this area. So it's, it's great for people to be able to see it and it look beautiful and be amazingly shot. And uh, yeah, I, I, I love that. It's a sort of letter to the West Country, Broadchurch. Hey, I've been calling you. Oh, sorry, sorry, I just needed a bit of air. Collect my thoughts. Can you believe Joe? What the hell was he thinking? I really have no idea. Is everything okay? What you're seeing on screen this winter was actually shot last summer. And that's when I was asked to be involved and sworn to secrecy. Well, I've just arrived on what's called the unit base. Now, this is where all the crew and the cast of the new series of Broadchurch gather before they go to the actual set. How cool is this? I've even been given my own trailer with a sign of the role that, uh, that I'm playing. Uh, come inside and take a look around. Um, one of the big stars of the new Broadchurch, by the way, is Charlotte Rampling. And I've just been told that moments ago she was using this as her dressing room. Now it's mine. Um, this is what I've got to wear. A choice of ties. I don't know which one they're going to go for yet. I hope it's the red and the blue one. I've also been given a script, so I now have to learn these words. And I'm told the next stop is makeup. Yeah. Saying all that. Guilty. No. Joseph Miller was remanded back into custody after pleading not guilty here at Wessex Crown Court to the murder of 11 year old Daniel Latimer, whose body was found on the beach at Broadchurch in Dorset. Sharon Bishop, QC, representing Mr. Miller, tonight maintained her client's innocence. Mr. No. Miller. No, no. no. I mean, I think it's always important for us to be as kind of real and truthful as possible. So having, having yourself, having a, a, a professional man there doing the reporting felt very important. And again, very important in terms of the West Country identity. Series three? Oh, let me have a holiday first, will you? <laughs>